So Emily just got done being strip searched. Currently on our way to Mayaka Waterfall. This marks the beginning of my travels in Central America. I flew down to Costa Rica to film at the festival in Vision. Emily and I actually met at the airport. We shared a taxi with a few other mutual friends from the West Coast, and then we all went our separate ways. This is when I met up with my friends Jay and Jimmy. They have been staying at this really nice Airbnb, and I showed up a few days before the festival to join them. All right, it's the last day at this amazing Airbnb. Shoulders are super sunburnt, scuffed my knee real bad. I've had two video gigs cancel on me in the last three days, but I'm drinking a coconut and we're in Costa Rica. So this is the part of the vlog that really doesn't make any sense at all because one of those video gigs that canceled on me was actually the video I was going to be doing at the festival. So since I had filmed the festival the year before this, I decided to just kind of put away my camera and just enjoy my time there. I ended up spinning fire pretty much the entire festival. So this vlog is not going to make any sense. Currently on the border of uh, Panama and Costa Rica because I, spur of the moment, jumped on a shuttle down to uh, gather tribal gathering. Sorry, I'm delirious right now. I've not slept. But really weird process. We parked the bus over there. We all got off walked to where the border is, dropped off all of our bags, split up in two groups. This is the second group. We are now walking up the street to some very random location. It makes no sense. It's an experience though, it's cool. So we're about three blocks away from the border in this random little building off the side. Seems legit. We just have to pay $8 to leave Costa Rica and then we can go through. My original plan was just to go to Envision and then return home pretty shortly after that. But on the last night of the festival, I was hanging out with Emily and some of her friends, having a great time, stayed up all night, and then early the next morning, I realized that they were all running off to this festival in Panama called Tribal Gathering, which is 18 days long on the beach. So I was faced with this decision whether or not I should spontaneously jump on this bus with literally no money, completely unprepared, don't have a sleeping bag, don't have a tent or anything. And I just went for it.
marks the end of tribal gathering. 18 days on the beach. After this, Emily and I headed to Panama City, and that is where the last vlog episode began. So Emily just got done being strip searched. We're now headed to Gofito to then take a boat through the Osa Peninsula to Puerto Jimenez and then to the Osa or uh, Finca Morfa. Nice and safe here in the Central American bus systems. <laughs> Perfect. I don't even need a seatbelt. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I got all of them. I got so many colors. Look, my like green one is my personal favorite. I'm gonna make a little demonstration. Don't worry, if you're traveling to Costa Rica, you forgot your toothbrush. Here's your guy. Hop on the city bus, and you've got one coming right to you. From this map. Ah. There's so much beauty that Central America has to offer, whether it be the rich Mayan culture, the brilliant street food, the views, the jungle, the monkeys. But one of my favorite parts of all is just slurping these delicious <laughs> beans right out of the bag. <laughs> With platano chips. Yeah, the platano chips really, really changed the game. Bus journey to Gofito was a success. I believe we're catching the last boat out, luckily, at five o'clock over to Puerto Jimenez. And then taking a taxi to Finca Morfa, or uh, yeah, Finca Morfa. Beautiful evening. It's very nice being out of David. Thank you.